Okay, um, so you kind of have the squash and stretch thing going, but you have the acceleration wrong. Um, it should, as it goes down, it should speed up and get to its fastest point right before it bounces, and then it's its fastest point going back up. So you need to adjust the the y tangent. The other thing is I noticed that the the forward momentum of the x is a bit uneven. It seems to speed up and then slow down in a kind of a unpredictable way. So let's take a look at that in Maya. Um, if you uh, you can just look at it now for a second, the the bouncing up and down isn't right. If we go into the graph editor and let's just isolate the y translate curve. Um, It should be, see, it's it's instead of continually to speed up, so the steeper it gets, the faster it's going, so it should be almost vertical by the time it gets to the bottom, and instead it just slows down gradually and, and gets horizontal. So we need to take this left mouse click to select, middle mouse drag to rotate up, and you want it to look more like that. And it's pretty intuitive, sort of, it looks like the shape of a ball bounce in a sense, this Y translate curve. Don't worry about those little bits because those are in between frames, so we won't see that. Okay. Can that move over one, maybe? <laughs> maybe. See how much bouncier that looks? Everything else with this was fine. It was really just that one thing. And you might have lost, had it before and lost it when you added the extra contact frame. Um, realistic. Hmm. It just looks sort of slow motion-y, that one. It's very kind of pixelated and dark, too. Um... So I think the main thing on that one is just to speed it up. Um, yeah, it just looks like slow motion. There's also no rotation on it either. Yeah, this one's not so great. Um, So you kind of got the Y translate curve looking okay, although this is pretty um, sharp at the top there. But, you know, maybe that matches your reference, I don't know. But, um, also, generally the, the later bounces get faster too, and cover maybe less distance. So they, well, you know, kind of go hand in hand. Um, so, uh, I might, and also you might want to, usually balls rotate as well. I know you also have it going through the floor. So it's going halfway through the floor. It's not rotating. Um, and, uh, I mean, you could have a floor that you moved below the grid, but normally you would make the grid the floor. That's the convention. Um, and then I think, you know, adjusting the timing of this. So I feel like there's a lot to fix. Um on this. So, and I think the other thing is just to really study the reference, like have, you know, either a real ball with you, or videotape a real ball, or find a video of a real ball, you know, any of those things are all easy to do. It's a very easy reference to get, so um, take a look at reference, try and match it better.